Hello guys. Today, we are going to get an insight about search engine optimization and its types. So, the agenda for the day would be getting started with search engines, search engine optimization, how SEO works, SEO techniques categorization, comparison, and finally, effectiveness and consequences of these techniques. Before jumping into SEO and its types, let's get some idea about search engines. A web search engine is a software system that is designed to search for information on the World Wide Web. The search results are generally presented in a line of results often referred to as search engine results pages. The information may be a mix of web pages, images, and other types of files. Some search engines also mine data available in databases or open directories. Unlike web directories, which are maintained only by human editors, search engines also maintain real-time information by running an algorithm on a web crawler. Widely known examples of search engines can be Google, Bing and Yahoo. Now, the question comes into the picture, can I get found on the first page within Google? That means, can my website or web page appear on the first page within any search engine? The answer for this will be Search Engine Optimization Search Engine Optimization or SEO is the process by which volume and quality of traffic to a website can be improved. The higher ranked a site is, higher on the search engine results pages, the more visitors the website naturally gets. Going to the rising importance of search engines, like Google, SEO is a much sought after internet marketing strategy. Search Engine Optimization is the process of affecting the visibility of a website or a web page in a search engine's natural or unpaid search results. Unpaid. So remember, there are several paid marketing techniques also available. In general, the earlier and more frequently a site appears in the search results list, the more visitors it will receive from the search engine's users. SEO may target different kinds of search, including image search, local search, video search, academic search, news search and industry specific vertical search engines. Now, moving forward to how SEO works. SEO referring to search engine optimizers, those who provide SEO services, consider how search engines work what people search for, the actual search terms or keywords typed into search engines and which search engines are preferred by their targeted audience. They optimize a website by editing its content, HTML and associated coding, to both increase its relevance to specific keywords and to remove barriers to the indexing activities of search engines. Promoting the site to increase the number of backlinks or inbound links is another SEO tactic. Search engines have a process called Spider that downloads and stores the page on the search engine's own server where a second program known as an indexer extracts various information about the page and all links the page contains. The higher ranked a site is, higher on the search engine results pages, the more visitors the website naturally gets. These search engines determine rankings through proprietary algorithms that are secret and closely guarded. Search engine optimization seeks to apply these principles to improve search ranking. Now this was all about the working of SEO. As with all things, in life has a good, wholesome, 
fair and right way of doing things, and a bad, unfair, downright naughty way of doing things. SEO techniques can also be further categorized as white hat and black hat techniques. White hat refers to use of good practice methods to achieve high search engine rankings. They comply with search engine guidelines. White hat SEO refers to the use of techniques and strategies that target the human audience opposed to a search engine. Techniques that are typically used in white hat SEO include using keywords and keyword analysis, doing research, rewriting meta tags in order for them to be more relevant, backlinking, link building as well as writing content for human readers. Those who use white hat SEO expect to make a long-term investment on their website as the results last a long time. Black hat refers to attempts to improve rankings in ways that are not approved by search engines and involve deception. They go against current search engine guidelines. Black hat SEO refers to techniques and strategies used to get higher search rankings and breaking search engine rules. Black hat SEO focuses on only search engines and not so much the human audience. Black hat SEO is typically used by those who are looking for a quick return on their site rather than a long-term investment on their site. Some techniques used in black hat SEO include keyword stuffing, link farming, hidden texts and links, and blog content spamming. Consequences of black hat SEO can possibly result in your site being banned from a search engine and be indexed as a penalization for using of net fickle techniques. Now, let's ponder more on white hat techniques. White hat SEO is creating content for users and not search engines. Its main aim is to promote accessibility. White hat SEO not only follows all SEO guidelines but ensures that all content indexed by search engines is the same as the content that a human user will see. It focuses on readability, relevance of content, well-structured and well-written content that will be useful to people who read it. It also focuses on cross-linking pages in journalese on a website where appropriate, as well as building relevant inbound links from trusted sources. White Hat SEO techniques are, firstly, quality content. When we first start looking at SEO as a separate entity to website build, there is one phrase that we would continually hear, content is king, and it's true. There is nothing more valuable you can do to optimize your site for search engines than offer unique, well-written content. A search engine same is to serve up what it believes to be the most appropriate website for any given search to the end user. Imagine we are the end user and we are searching for a portable air conditioner for hire. We go to our favorite search engine and search for the phrase portable air conditioner hire. In this imaginary scenario, let's assume there are only two websites that target the phrase website one consists of a single page with three paragraphs of text. The text tells us that the company does portable air conditioning hire and give us a phone number to call. Website 2 contains 30 plus pages, all focusing on various portable air conditioning units that we can hire, costs, and technical explanations of how portable air conditioning units work. Which website do you think the search engine is likely to offer to the user first. It's a rather obvious example, but it illustrates the importance of good content, so your priority should be good quality content. Then comes use of structural markup and separate content from presentation semantically structuring your markup helps search engines understand the content of your webpage which is of course a good thing. Making proper use of heading elements is essential because search engines give more weight to the content within the heading elements. Using CSS 
to separate the design elements from the content makes for much cleaner code, and makes it easier for search engines to find what they're looking for, which is content. Remember, content is king. Third technique is including titles and metadata providing pages with proper titles and metadata is essential. The meta description and meta keywords elements have been so misused in the past that search engines now regard them as less important. It's still important to use them and use them properly. Titles, however, still carry a lot of weight, and when we think of semantic markup, it is obvious why. The title of anything is a declaration as to what the content might be, so make sure your page titles are a true representation of the content of the page. Then comes keyword research and effective keyword use. Create your website with keywords and key phrases in mind. Research keywords and key phrases you think people might use to find your site. Single words are not always the most effective target. Try multi-word phrases that are much more specific to your product, and you'll be targeting end users that are much more likely to want what you are offering. Use the keywords and key phrases you've identified effectively throughout your website. Assign each page to two to three of the keywords you've identified and use the keywords throughout all the important elements of the page. Those are title, meta description, meta keywords, heading elements, alt tag, title tag, links. Finally, you can make use of quality inbound links. Having inbound links to your website can't be likened to having a vote for the good, but there are good links and bad links so, therefore votes for the good and votes that are bad. Good links are links from other web pages that are regarded highly by the search engines and are contextually relevant to the content of your page. Bad links are links from web pages that aren't regarded highly or potentially banned by search engines, and have no relevance to the content of your page. For example, imagine we have a website that sells telephones. Link on the home page of the British Telecom's website is good link on John Smith's beer and ale appreciation links page is bad the amount of quality inbound links to your site, therefore have some relevance on how high up the search engine your site is placed. When sourcing links you should be thinking of quality over quantity, and deep linking to pages within your website, not just the home page. Now, as we are done with some of the white hat techniques, let's have a look on some of the black hat techniques as well. Black hat SEO techniques usually include characteristics that break search engine rules and regulations, create poor user experience, unethically present content in different visual and non-visual ways to search engine spiders and human users. Black hat SEO practices can yield quick results, but there is also a higher risk of penalty if discovered. Black Hat SEO is a short-sighted solution to the long-term problem of organic search traffic. Black Hat SEO techniques include hidden content. Top of our list of Black Hat SEO techniques is hidden content. Hidden content comes in many guises, but the basic principle is that within the code for the site, there will be content stuffed with keywords. This content will not be visible to the end user of the site. One way of doing this is by using comment tags. The real purpose of comment tags is for developers to add in useful reminders within their code, explaining what that piece of code does. Content can also be hidden from the end user by using CSS, excessively small text and colored text on the same colored background. Another technique is meta keyword stuffing. There are two meta tags that are generally used to inform search engines of the content on the page. They reside between the head tag of a page, and when used incorrectly, 
they can alert a search engine that a site is using spam techniques in an attempt to improve its ranking. Spandexing is a practice of repeating unrelated phrases to manipulate the relevancy or prominence of resources indexed by a search engine. Doorway or gateway pages are pages designed for search engines and not for the end user. They are basically fake pages that are stuffed with content and highly optimized for one or two keywords that link to a target or landing page. The end user never sees these pages because they are automatically redirected to the target page. Search engine spiders are being enhanced continually to detect these pages and will get ignored or worse still. Flag your site up as being spam and ban you altogether. Finally, link farming. In the real world, if you were to build your house in a bad neighborhood, then your house would be affected by its surroundings. The same is true of the virtual world. Link farms or free for all pages have no other purposes than to list links of unrelated websites. They won't provide you with any traffic and you run the risk of having your site banned for participating. Don't participate in link farming. As the colors of the types of search engine optimization suggest, there are stark differences in the approach and long-term results of white hat and black hat search engine optimization. All this is illustrated in this comparison table. Now, let's give a look at effectiveness and consequences of black and white hat techniques. SEO is part science, part art. There is a wide range of opinion in the CO practitioner community regarding the effectiveness of white hat and black hat techniques. Most agree that white hat techniques take longer to improve search rankings. Even though quick results make black hat SEO tempting. It can get your site banned or heavily penalized for use of unethical practices. It is widely believed that the risk is not worthwhile for websites that plan to be operational over the long haul. Moreover, black hat SEO methods give only short-term results. White hat SEO can get your site ranked higher by use of ethical techniques, good content, appropriate keywords and combination of smart marketing angles providing long-lasting results. Google's Panda Update rewards websites that have high-quality content. After this algorithm update, low-quality pages on the site affected not just the ranking for those pages, but for the entire website. Google's Penguin update was targeted specifically at black hat SEO techniques, using which some website owners had accumulated thousands of links from link farms. Thousands of such websites were penalized due to the Penguin update. Webmasters were encouraged to remove bad links pointing to their site. In some cases, they were able to do so successfully, but often webmasters cannot control who links to them. Because you cannot control who links to your site, it's possible for a competitor to pay link farms to point bad links to your website from poor quality sites. Google's algorithms could penalize you for these links, which would hurt your search engine rankings. Bing has a tool that lets webmasters disavow bad links pointing to their website, but Google does not. Some analysts have criticized Google for letting their algorithm be gamed with negative CO. Another category sometimes used is gray hat SEO. This is in between black hat and white hat approaches, where the methods employed avoid the site being penalized, however do not act in producing the best content for users, rather entirely focused on improving search engine rankings. Hence. SEO is a technique which helps search engines find and rank your site higher than the millions of other sites.
in response to a search query. SEO thus helps you get traffic from search engines. The appeal of black hat tricks lies on their effectiveness. Yes, they work, but take note that these tricks will inevitably get your site penalized and banned from the search engines. No matter how well your site has performed using black hat SEO campaigns, the results do not last long. The video covered just of search engines. Introduction to SEO SEO categories, namely White Hat, Black Hat, and Gray Hat. Comparison between these techniques. And finally, effectiveness and consequences of these techniques. I hope you've got a good idea about SEO. Stay tuned in for more such videos. Thanks a lot guys.